Chesterfield County Public Schools remains committed to providing a safe, supportive, and nurturing learning environment for our students and staff members. The school board committed to a phased-in approach to resuming in-person learning, working with local and state public health experts to identify metrics necessary for safely returning students to in-class instruction. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Virginia Health Department offer guidance for the safe reopening of schools. School Division health guidelines and protocols will be based on CDC and VDH guidance, along with a review and partnership from the Chesterfield Health District and Chesterfield County's risk management. As we prepare for the start of in-person learning, Chesterfield County Public Schools is keeping the safety and well-being of our students and employees in the forefront of all planning. Chesterfield County Public Schools recognizes the importance of proper hygiene practices, social distancing measures, and the use of facial coverings to reduce the spread of COVID-19 in the school community. This video is designed to show students, their families, and our staff members what a return to in-person learning will look like. Make no mistake, it is not the school or classroom environment that we knew just seven short months ago. Parents and students are being asked to self-monitor their symptoms at home before arriving at the bus stop. Families are asked to play a critical role in preventing the spread. Please check with your child to review a series of questions before your child leaves for the bus or leaves for school. Check for these symptoms. If your child is showing any symptoms of COVID-19, they should not come to school. The school day starts long before the first student arrives at school. Our bus drivers will clean the buses in preparation for picking up students at the end of the previous day. Each seat will be wiped down as well as common touch points in the bus, such as windows, door areas, and safety bars. Transportation staff will follow instructions and certain procedures while cleaning, including wearing proper PPE. Another full cleaning of the school bus will occur at the end of the morning runs. Each bus driver will wear a face mask and a shield during their bus runs. All students will wear masks at all times while waiting for and riding the school bus. Students are required to abide by the six feet social distancing guidelines and should not congregate in groups at the bus stop. Boarding the bus may take a little longer than usual as we respond to the COVID pandemic. Students should board the school bus in intervals of six feet. Take your time, it is okay. If the bus is full, the bus driver will stop to pick up students at a particular bus stop so those students do not remain at the stop unattended. We will make adjustments to routes as necessary. Students should fill seats from back to front with the exception of pre-kindergarten and kindergarten students who will sit in designated seats in the front of the bus. There should only be one student per seat. The exception should be for siblings who can sit together. As they are seated, students will be asked to sit where there is a mark placed on the seat. Students are expected to wear their own masks when boarding and riding the bus. In the event a student has accidentally misplaced or damaged their mask, bus drivers will have an emergency supply of masks to provide students with. Students will get off the school bus from front to back, meaning that our youngest students will exit the bus first. Students will get off the bus in the same fashion they boarded, in intervals of six feet. School staff members will be stationed near the bus loop to help guide students into the building, seeking to stop groups of students from congregating and seeing that the six feet of social distancing guideline continues to be met. Students will enter school and either pick up breakfast or head straight to their classroom. During the pandemic, Visitors to school buildings will not be allowed past the front office area unless there is a pre-designated meeting. Our facilities team has provided schools and central office buildings with two visitor sneeze guards that will be used in the front office. Visitors to the school will stand on one side of the plexiglass based device and staff on the other. Visitors entering school buildings are required to wear masks. Each school also has been provided with signage regarding the required use of masks and questions individuals should ask themselves about their health before entering the building. These should be posted at all entry points. Floor signage reminding staff and students of the six feet social distancing guidelines have been produced and placed in buildings as well. Face coverings must be worn by all staff and students upon entry into schools or school division buildings. Face coverings also must be worn when working or interacting with other individuals in buildings and classrooms or when traveling through halls or operating in or visiting common spaces in these buildings. Properly using and caring for face coverings is essential to their effectiveness. The CDC notes that face coverings should cover the mouth and the nose, be secured under the chin, and fit snugly on all sides. Students wishing to eat breakfast at school will follow the following protocols. 
Social distancing is required as students will maintain a six foot distance when waiting in line to pick up breakfast. At the breakfast kiosk, students will see pictures of daily breakfast options posted on the board. This colorful visual will help them make their selection easily and keep service moving quickly. Wearing their masks, students will need to speak clearly to the cashier when making their meal selection. Breakfast items are placed in a to-go bag with handles, making it easy for students to carry to class. The following checkout process will be in place starting January 1st, after the current USDA extension of the Summer Meals Program ends. Until that time, all Chesterfield County students can receive a free breakfast or lunch at their school. When checking out, elementary students will use a laminated ID card with a barcode provided by the Food and Nutrition Services team at the register for breakfast. Attach the card to the back of your child's backpack by placing a zip tie through the hole in the card. Your cashier will scan this card for quick checkout. At the middle and high school level, students will input their student ID number into the pin pad. The pin pad will be cleaned after each use. When checkout is complete, students go to their classroom to eat. Depending on the classroom size and grade level, desks will be spaced six feet apart throughout the classroom. In classrooms where two desks are put together, students from different cohorts will have a designated seat. All desks will face the same direction. A teacher will have a six foot area at the front of the room from which they will spend their time teaching. Once a teacher or staff member leaves that six foot safe area at the front of the room for an extended period of time, they must wear a face shield when supporting students one on one. Use of restrooms will be limited to a certain number of students at a time. Staff members will be involved in monitoring the number of people entering a restroom. Partitions are being installed between urinals and bathrooms to make sure that students are kept separate. Towels and soap will be restocked continuously in the restrooms. Students and staff members are encouraged to wash their hands frequently with soap and hot water for at least 20 seconds. When soap or hot water are not available, hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol can be used. Hand sanitizer will be available in every classroom and hand sanitizer stations are being set up throughout school buildings. Students and staff members may possess alcohol-based hand sanitizers per current school board policy. This school year, students will also eat lunch in their classroom. If a student is getting lunch from the cafeteria, these are the protocols they will follow upon entry into the facility. Social distancing floor decals are in place to remind students to maintain a six foot distance when waiting to enter the serving line and throughout the lunch line. Students will use the hand sanitizer placed at the beginning of the lunch line prior to entering the room. Students will see pictures of the daily menu options posted at the front of the serving line. These colorful visuals will help them make their selection easy and to keep service moving along. Students need to speak clearly when making their lunch choice so that the food service associates can hear them. At the elementary school level, students will not be using the pen pad. The cashier will pull up the entire class on the computer and select each student as they go through the line. Middle and high school students will use the pen pad to enter their student ID. Meals are packaged and served in secure disposable clamshell containers that are easy for students to carry to the classroom to eat. New this year, our Food and Nutrition Services team is excited to offer Meal Viewer, a convenient online service that allows you to view the students' daily meals, nutritional and allergen information. Parents can pay for their students' meals using My School Bucks. This online payment service is quick, easy, and secure. Go to myschoolbucks.com to register. Parents also are invited to submit an application for free or reduced price lunch meals online at myschoolapps.com. This allows students quick access to their meal benefits. The website is safe, free, and easy to use. From time to time, students will need to visit the clinic. School nurses, clinic assistants, and trained clinic backups are available in each school building to manage the daily use of the clinic, as well as any individuals exhibiting possible COVID-19 symptoms. The school division's goal is to keep otherwise healthy students and staff away from areas where they may be exposed to illness. Teachers will call the clinic to respond to the classroom to support a student's need when necessary. Non-clinic school staff should not enter the clinic area unless it is necessary for their job role. There is a need to be assessed for illness or injury, or they are trained as backup to clinic staff. The standard clinic will continue to be utilized for daily student medications and non-COVID-19 illness. Small injuries such as paper cuts or other injuries that can be managed in the classroom will be taken care of there. Each county school site will identify a secondary location to be utilized as a symptom management room for any student exhibiting COVID-19 related symptoms. Ideally, the symptom management room will be located near the front of the building with easy access to parent pickup to minimize exposure. All students will be triaged prior to entering the clinic 
and will be directed to the symptom management room as needed for suspected COVID-19 symptoms. School division nurses and clinic staff will wear appropriate personal protection equipment depending on an individual situation. Loading the bus in the afternoons may take longer than normal as we follow these precautions. Students will be released in waves and load the bus from back to front while maintaining six feet social distancing from the student in front of them. Kindergarten and pre-kindergarten students will be the last to board the bus, sitting in the front seats assigned to them. At the end of the day, when students are dropped off at their bus stops, they should continue to practice social distancing on their walk home. We remain committed to providing all students and all staff with a safe, supportive, and nurturing learning environment. We look forward to welcoming students and staff back to our buildings with these new procedures in place.